Nine years ago, one of my deepest dreams was to join the Peace Corps and volunteer overseas. If you know a little bit about Peace Corps, you know that it's only for U.S. citizens, which I'm not, because I'm from the island of Madagascar, and I knew then that the program was not meant for me at all. So many things happen in between, but fast forward, I'm going to tell you how blessed I felt I was, you know, when I was selected to be a part of this program, which is not a Peace Corps, don't get me wrong, but it's like the reverse Peace Corps program. So you can basically think of it as a Peace Corps, but instead of you going overseas, you actually go to the U.S. and serve in an organization there. Just a little disclaimer, I was not in the U.S. the whole time. Given that I was a part of the Blended Fellowship, the first component of my program was implemented here in Madagascar. As you can see in this picture, I was here back home working from home, and then it's only then I flew to the U.S. and went to Making Sense International there. For the sake of time, I would love to share with you my top five lessons from the Atlas Core program. It made me realize even more that everybody has got something to offer. You have something to offer. You have something that is valuable about your culture, about your skill sets, about your story, about your background. You have a lot to offer. What is that thing? There are so many stereotypes around the world. Like people from Madagascar were like this and people from the U.S. are like that. Everybody's trying to put the whole crowd in the same basket, which is not true. So it is really an opportunity for you to show somebody else some other aspects of your culture, your identity, and same thing. You get to learn something new about other people too. I also learned that great intentions and amazing projects are not enough. To be honest with you, it is one of the reasons why I'm so thankful for this program because the projects that I worked with, worked for with USAID and Making Sense International really allowed me to provide over 15,000 young people across the globe with opportunities for them to grow, to thrive in their career, even in their professional, personal life as well, uh, by providing them with resources okay. and, you know, so many funding opportunities, and et cetera, through uh, the platforms you lead and youth power. So it's really valuable and priceless. If you do not know about Youth Lead or Youth Power, I'll be more than happy to share about that in another video in English. But for now, here's the link and here's another video that I made in my language, in Malagasy. When I'm talking about resources here, I'm not only referring to money, I'm implying human resources. So it's like all the people who are involved in your project from start to finish could be your partners, your colleagues, your volunteers, etc. But I'm also referring to things like capacity building, which includes the trainings that you receive or that you provide to your team. Resources are the pieces of the puzzle that will get you somewhere. This next one might not be new to you, but it made me realize even more how magical technology is. I'm just so grateful for the power of technology for connecting people from around the world. It was just mind-blowing for me to work alongside with people from 161 countries from different time zones and with different cultures and it's just so powerful to see what younger people around the world are doing it's so invigorating and it's so refreshing and inspiring as well i still have a ton of lessons learned from this program but for now this is going to be my last one get ready to experience the unexpected and of course be ready to put on your learner's hat every single day just to give you a little bit of an overview, there were a lot of things that I did expect. For example, I knew that I would learn a lot about knowledge management and event project management during this fellowship. I also knew that I would also refine my social media and communication skills on this journey. But what I did not know or what I did not expect was I would like the to very details to and the scope of my also, engagement. Our MC today. She currently works as a manager for USAID's Youth Lead Platform, which supports 13,000 young changemakers from 191 countries to connect and collaborate on meeting key development priorities linked to the Sustainable Development Goals. Welcome, Gael. 
Thank you, Matthew. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening again, everyone, and welcome to everyone who is joining us from around the world for today's event in celebration of the updated USAID policy for youth in development, Generation 2030. Administrator Power, welcome. The floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Gael, for that kind introduction. And we thank Representative Meng and Philips for being with us today. Welcome, Bama Fria. Gael, thank you so much. And thanks for your fabulous moderation today. I think we're all very lucky to have you with us today. As we move to close out today's event, I'm pleased to welcome Christian Lord to the stage to provide some closing remarks. Thank you so much, Gael, for that very kind introduction. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video where I share about how the selection process went how my application worked, what I wrote, what I did not write. I mean, all the processes, because just so you know, I applied more than once, more than twice. So let me know if you need that information. I'd be more than happy to share that with you.